As the triple digit heat lingers and fires pop up all around central Texas, 44 cadets pledged to serve and protect. After 28 weeks of training, Class 136 has cause for celebration. You are taking on an awesome responsibility this morning to serve the residents and visitors of this city, oftentimes when they're having the worst day. Each with a story. Juan Daniel Chavarin was previously in the military, stationed at Fort Hood. Almost like a basic training, if anything, it's a little more, just due to the academic parts. Because uh, with basic training, you know, it was uh, more physical. You, you get told to do this, do that. Here, it's more of a, you think on your own, and also you're expected to, you know, hold a high standard at the same time. For Colton Dandridge, the men in his life lit a flame under him. I grew up in the fire station. I grew up at the with a whole fire family that was second to mine and uh, just always been something that I've wanted to do. Now fourth generation AFD. I'm one of the guest instructors in the academy, so it was, it was special to be able to see him and the rest of the cadets uh, graduate today. Once he finishes his career, we'll have over uh, a century in the Austin Fire Department. Colton Dandridge, pinned by father, Austin Fire Department, Captain Marshall Dandridge, grandfather, Austin Fire Department, Lieutenant Daryl Dandridge. Now expanding their fire family. The favorite part is just the, the camaraderie. I mean, we started out as 50 strangers in a room. No one knew each other at all. And by the end, there's 44 of us that I would call my brothers and a part of my family. On behalf of more than 1,200 men and women of Austin Fire Department, congratulations. And with a growing population and a growing need, these newest graduates are ready to answer the call. This is what we signed up for. We got one of the best trainings you cannot possibly get. And so I feel like each and, one, each and every one of us is mentally prepared and physically prepared for anything that's going to be thrown at us here at AFD.